Hey guys, what's going on? Bobby here, and today we're going to be playing some Siege on Nuts and Bolts. Now, this is what the map... Oh, I clicked the wrong button. This is what the map looks like, as many of you guys know. This is my second favorite map currently in the game. My favorite being uh, Bot Drop, which is another Siege map right now. But I'm really enjoying this map. I find it really easy to push on. I find that there's actually a lot of different meta comps that are actually really, really different that you can go with. So I made a video on this map probably a week ago, maybe a week and a half, where we ran Pam, Frank, and Colt. And we showed you guys how to open the walls, how to do things effectively, and how to play a really out of meta comp that you can change the map completely and turn it into a meta one. Now we're just going to show you a meta comp where you don't really play with the structures and the walls too much, and we just show you guys how to dominate with the three best brawlers in Siege on this map. So without further ado, let's get into the first game. PewDiePie is so epic, Tama. So here we go into the first game here, we're going to be facing a Frank, a Colt, and a Leon. Now this is also a really dominant comp, this is really good, but I think ours is a little bit better. The reason why I like Primo a lot, wow there's a lot of shot delay. The reason why I like Primo a lot on this map is because you see a lot of Frank, so Primo kind of counters Frank, so that's super good. Let's see if we can get this guy, we're going to get pinched a little bit over here, we probably should have went in the middle. Going in the middle is really good, but also lanes with Barley is also super good. Like, Barley is really dominant on this map. You didn't see Barley having uh, a lot of too high trophy Barleys, but you're seeing it a lot now due to the fact that Siege is a mode and that you can absolutely dominate with Barley. So you're going to see us getting snuck on by a Leon. That's basically our only weakness, is a Leon sneaking onto us. I think they're going to be able to get this Siege bot. They are going to be able to. We're just going to super over here. We're going to have an invisible Leon right here. He's going to be able, to be able to take out the Colt, which is a lot of their DPS, and we're also going to be going for the Frank right here. We're going to be able to get him, as well as get the uh, get the Leon pretty low. So we're going to have pretty solid defense over here right now. He's going to stand in front of this guy. Mingo and Jigsaw are going to hop in and also stand right in front, and they're not going to do much damage, if any. They did 19% on their first push. This map is pretty easy to get, like, 50% on a push on. Unless you're facing a high, unless like uh, you're facing like a Frank, Pam, and Colt kind of comp, which defends super well. So we are in an auto aim distance, which is why you're gonna see us auto aiming with Colt. We, he just got out of the distance over there. Why well, are really getting rushed? There's so much delay this game. It's it's really bothering me. It's making it hard with Barley. Barley is not a too easy of a brawler with delay, so it's gonna be a little bit difficult this game. We're not truly dominating as we should be. You're going to see G uh, Jigsaw sneak on the Frank over there. You're going to see Jigsaw get snuck on. We, we just continuously kept getting snuck, keep getting snuck on. Like, this is this is pretty brutal. But anyways, hopefully we can have some really good defense again. You can see Jigsaw going invisible. Probably going to want to take out the Colt. I was going to go for someone else instead. We're just going to have to hit this Colt three times. We weren't able to do so. We're going to have another great defense. I'm going to step in here. Again, the Leon's going to come in, do a little bit of damage, but I don't know if it's worth killing himself over that. I don't think it was personally worth it, but we'll see. Anyways, we have a Frank over here. He's going to pull up Super, but Jigsaw is going to be able to get the kill on him. We're just going to throw our Super down to ensure that we get this Bolt. We see Mango jumping on the coal. I would save my, uh, my jump for a Frank, or anyone who has above 5k health, because if you do 5k with a Primo, you're going to get a Super back when you jump on them. So definitely keep that in mind when you're playing Primo. And facing other brawlers, you want to jump definitely on the chunkier brawlers, because more than likely you're going to get the kill, and it's just better to get your super back. So we're kind of dominating at this point, even though there is open walls, which does benefit them a lot, having a cult. So Jigsaw is going to go, and he's likely going to die. He's going to be able to stay up, actually. I don't think there's a cult in here. Is there? Oh, there is. He's going to go for me. We're going to see if we're going to be able to kill him. We are going to be able to do so. Hopefully we can do some good damage on this push over here, as it's going to be the only push of the game that we're going to be able to get. Now they do have a high DPS comp, so it's going to be hard to do too much. So we are going to have to win this round, basically, which is going to be pretty tough, considering we started from behind, and they do have a better comp for the open grass. I mean for the open map, I don't know why I said open grass. So we're going to be able to hit that Leon a couple times. See if we can get him down. I don't think we'll be able to. Yeah, he's one shot right now. Mango might be able to kill that Colt. Yeah, I think the Colt's going to go down. The Leon is going to go invisible. We're going to collect as many things as possible, but there is an invisible Leon, so we'd have to watch out for that. Good play over there by Jigsaw. Oh no, he saw him go invisible. We're going to juke a little bit. Hopefully we can tie with him. Oh, we were actually able to get the win. That's insane. 
Okay, Mango was able to cash it in, so there's no Siege bot. So currently we are in the lead. I don't really know how that happened. Like, this is pretty insane, the fact that we're actually not losing right now. So the only thing that can make us lose is them hitting the safe. Now, there is an Invisible Leon right now. So he's going to try and do some damage as well as the Colt Super does do a good amount of damage. It's probably like 10% to the safe. Or to the Ike, I should be saying, actually. So we should just do a little bit of defense over here. He isn't going to be able to do enough, but Frank might be able to. It's going to be close. No, he will not be able to. And that is going to be a win for us in the first game. A pretty intense game, but we did get star player with all the delay and the broken walls, which shows how good Barley is. But anyways, let's hop to the second game, and hopefully we can show you guys a more dominating game against a good team. So here we go into the second game here, and we have a few familiar faces, and they're running a very similar comp. So this is going to be definitely a good game, but they don't have the wall breaking type of strategy, so definitely is going to help us out when it comes to us at least dominating, not necessarily the team, but show you guys what Barley can do. Anyways, Jigsaw's going to be able to pick up the kill. Hopefully he can stay alive. He should be able to. He's going to go down over there. That's fine, though. He did deliver Mango a power-up, or not a power-up, sorry a bolt. Now we're going to back up over here, hide behind this wall. We probably are going to go down. Yeah, we're going to go down. So far it's just Jigsaw up right now, so it looks like they're going to be able to get the first bot, which which is actually pretty disappointing considering we didn't get it last game. It's two straight games where we're not going to get the first bot, which is actually pretty, pretty trash. But anyways, we're going to just try and do what we did last game and kill them before the bot can come so we can Go right in front of that bot and just kill it. We're gonna super right over here. You're gonna see Jigsaw going right up to a bull and a barley, and he's actually gonna go down. We do see that the uh, the Leon's over here, so we did actually waste a little bit of the Leon's time. They actually didn't do too much. I thought they were gonna do a lot more considering Jigsaw died, but they weren't able to, so that's pretty great. We are gonna be able to kill the Leon. Looks like Jigsaw is gonna sneak behind the barley. I don't know why we went up right there. I wasn't really looking at my health. That's it's kind of an amateur play on my end. Definitely would be more cognizant of your health and more aware. But anyways, it looks like we're getting some decent spawns of the bolts right now. It should be able to kill that Leon, yeah. Looks like Jigsaw is going to sneak up. He's going to be able to pick one up. I'm going to be able to pick one up over here. It looks like we're going to get this bot. Uh-oh. Don't want to get rushed on by a bull. Okay, so we got a power 6 boss. That's pretty good. You can see Mango doing some work over there. He probably almost does his super back. The bull should definitely be on the other side. Yeah, I should definitely be also near Jigsaw and Mango right now because the Leon did go invisible. There we go. He's behind us now. Let's see if we can take out that bull. Basically charging our super right now. Yeah, we were able to take out the bull. He charged a lot of our super. Leon's probably going to go back there. Oh, nope. Not too sure the Leon is. Oh, looks like we found him. Or he found us, I should say. He's going to super where that bolt is to pick up a few markers. We almost got our super back too, which is pretty incredible. We're one shot off of that. The opposing Leon just in this bush over there. He's going to super again where the next bolt is going to drop. We're going to be able to kill the bull with our super. Jigsaw is going to get that sneak off. Jigsaw is actually a pretty good... Uh, Leon, if I'm going to say anything about Jigsaw, I feel about him being good. It's definitely his Leon abilities. He's pretty good with them. He plays a lot with them, so you would expect Jigsaw to be good. Especially since Leon is a very overpowered brawler. Anyways, we're going to hope that we don't go down here because we do a lot of the damage to the Ike. Hopefully Mango can protect us a little bit. If you, if you guys are seeing a lot of auto-aim, it's just because I'm getting in the distance where auto-aim is going to hit basically every time. I definitely wouldn't walk around and just spam auto-aim with a barley. That's definitely not how you're going to get kills. But if you're getting within that distance where auto-aims are going to hit every time, then i definitely just click the auto-aim button because it's for sure. Anyways, that's the second game. We're going to get started back-to-back -back games. There's two games right there, two really good games. Let's hop into the third game, see if we can continue dominating, continue getting star player, and show you guys barley's true skill on this map. So here we go into the third and final game. We're going to be facing a Bull, a Gene, and a Barley. So this is the third straight game. We're going to be getting Shot Delay. It's pretty interesting because usually we aren't getting Shot Delay throughout the entire day. So kind of interesting how we're going to go three straight over here. Now these guys are EU players, so that's why we're going to get Shot Delay this game. But I'm not sure 
about the previous games why we got it. So we're probably going to be able to get them super low. Yeah, we're going to be able to get them pretty low over there. Cerulean's going to get pretty close to us. He's likely going to be able to pick up that power up. He is going to be able to. It looks like they have a lot of momentum. Oh my god, he was able to pull an invisible Leon. That's pretty... That was pretty OP. I'm not going to lie. But anyways, we're just going to be dominating our position at least. Okay, I thought Cerulean was going to sneak onto that. All right. We are able to pick that up, luckily. Let's see if we can slow down Drage over there. Because Drage is going to be their main source of damage. We're just going to super this mid. We are going to be able to take out Drage with big help from Jigsaw. Let's see if we can continue defending. We're just going to shoot right over here. It looks like the bullet isn't going to go in at all. And they're only going to do 6% on their first attack, which is really good defense on our end. We're going to be shooting towards this bolt over here. If the gene does pull us, it's going to be an easy kill for him. So we're trying really badly not to get pulled. Alright, so we're not going to get pulled over there. Hopefully we can get Drage. We're able to do so, so we're going to be able to pick one up. We're going to be able to get Eric over there as he was in the OP auto-aim distance. Looks like Cerulean is just going to charge in. There's there's nothing I can do about that. It's a good play by Cerulean. I can't defend that at all because I just don't have the health, the ammo, or the DPS for it with the barley. So it looks like we're going to tie this round, I'm not sure, oh they got it, wow they got it last second. We really haven't been dominating too much to be honest, usually we have a lot of good middle control but we haven't been seeing it a lot this game. Looks like Jigsaw is going to kind of mess up his sneak over there, so that's definitely not too good for us. Let's see if we can do a little bit of work, alright we were able to do a little bit of defense but the miss super isn't going to help very much. Still though, they weren't able to do too much with two pushes, they've only done, what is that, 43%, yeah, so it's not the greatest in the world, definitely don't want to see that if I was on the offensive side. It looks like Cerulean might charge in here, no he won't, because there's something spawning over there. I'm definitely going to head towards the middle over here, we've been kind of controlling this right side throughout this portion so far, oh god, Mango's going to get destroyed over there. We probably have enough, I don't know, I kind of want it to be a tie and then we win at the end just because if they get it again, it's more than likely that they're going to be able to win this game. It looks like it is going to be a tie actually. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a tie, so we're able to dodge that super, we're going to be able to get Eric over there. So we have been holding our own, unfortunately our teammates have, not, not to put any, uh, any blame on them, but our teammates haven't been holding the lane as efficiently or as consistently as we have. So we have Cerulean, he's aiming his super right now. He decided not to super. So far it's 12-12, it's super close. We do probably have to kill Cerulean though, so I'm going to be focused on that, just because he's been doing a lot of work this game. We got him pretty low, we're going to stay focused on him until he goes down. Looks like I'm really annoying him at the moment. There we go, he's one shot, and there he goes, he goes down. So just as we wanted, we wanted to tie the last one and then get the final bot, and it looks like that's what's going to happen here. Come on, Jigsaw, there we go. Yeah, it's looking promising for us at this point. If we got the if we got that bot, then they were for sure, if we got the bot previous to this one, then they're for sure going to get the, the, the final boss, or the final bot, I don't know why I said boss, which is this upcoming one, and then they'd win 100%. But it's looking pretty good. As long as we don't die and we go in as a unit, we should be able to win this game fairly easily. Now Jigsaw is going to go in and hopefully he can kill a thrower. Yeah, this is looking fairly good for us. They're going to have to defend really well against a really big bot. Now the Gene is going to pull it away, which is a really good move that a Gene can do, but there's not much defense that they're going to be able to do against this bot. So anyways, that is going to likely be the game. Yeah, that's going to be the game. Hopefully we can end it. We won't be able to. But anyways, three seconds, two seconds, one, and that's going to be the end of our final game today. Those are three really long games. We got star player all three. We cut, we pretty much dominated all three. And I hope you guys enjoyed what you guys saw. So you can definitely change it up. Leon is probably the best lane on this map as well as Barley. And then the tanks, you can go Primo, Frank, or Bull. All three are really good. But outside of the Colt, Primo, I mean outside of the Colt, Pam, and Frank comp, I would definitely run what we have right here. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys already know, like, comment, subscribe if you guys liked what you saw. And if you don't, let me know in the comments what you want to see better or what else you want to see. And I'll definitely be covering that next next opportunity I can. But anyways, that's it for me today. Sorry I didn't upload yesterday. was a little bit busy. But I'll be back tomorrow again. Peace.